Are you one of those people that lives a really, really sad, dreary, terrible life and you have no monkey money? Well, boy, do I have a solution for you with this one extreme secret. All you have to do is know how to get monkey money. So I'll admit it, monkey money is actually pretty difficult to come by. It's not exactly the easiest thing to garner in your entire life. It takes a little bit of skill, it takes a little bit of effort to actually gather monkey money, but what I want to do for you guys is I want to show you the quickest, most efficient ways to gather monkey money. And of course, if you guys are enjoying this content, make sure you press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, because i got a lot more awesome content coming for you guys very, very soon. But let's just talk about kind of the ways that you can earn monkey money, and which are the most efficient. Some of the worst ways to earn monkey money are by just getting your daily chest. Sometimes you can get 150, even $200 out of your daily chest over here. You can play daily challenges, which sometimes are easy, but sometimes aren't that good, depending on the situation. We make about 80 bucks for beating this one, but that's, again, not even that good. And then advanced challenges as well. Definitely not a good way to earn monkey money, but they could still be fun and challenging and make you have a good time. So there's, there's a possibility for you. Another one is the Odysseys. So this one is one of those ones where if you do if you don't have too many medals throughout the game, this is an okay way to earn a decent chunk of monkey money while playing random maps and random difficulties combined together. So if you are a beginner player, Odysseys are not too bad, especially if you play them all the way on hard because you get all the extra bonuses from every single map and you get a big bunk chunk of bonus monkey money at the end. Of course, you get trophies as well. So Odysseys are not bad for a beginner player to kind of earn their way up and earn their keep as far as monkey money is concerned. Now, before we go too much deeper, I do gotta let you guys know, you might be noticing I've only got 3,546 monkey money in my bank right now. Why would you be explaining how to make mon a bunch of monkey money when you clearly have almost no monkey money, Chris? Well, it's not because I didn't make a lot of monkey money. It's because I, I squandered my monkey money. I have wasted all of my monkey money, guys. I used way too many continues. I did way too much stupid stuff. I, of course, bought everything in the game as well. But, uh, you know, I, I didn't exactly use my monkey money in the most efficient way possible. But maybe I can teach you guys how to. Now, there's two other ways to earn monkey money, and these are the kind of big ones here. There's achievements. All right, you're going to notice 200, 250, 250, 500, 250, 500, 1,000 monkey money, 500, and there's more, you know? There's tons of things that give you monkey money here. But the weird thing about achievements is that you probably shouldn't be trying to get the achievements all that much as a beginner player. You should just play the game and let the achievement just kind of happen. But don't forget that the only way you actually get the monkey money is by clicking this little metal button over here and clicking get. Because if you don't click the get button, then you won't be getting your monkey money in your pocket over here. And that's where we want it to be. We want it to be in our pocket right now. Now, the last... Well, actually... the Well, okay, let's, let's go. Let's go this way. The last way to earn monkey money, which is the most efficient way to earn monkey money, is by beating the maps on any difficulty and gathering medals. So the big problem with this game is that after you earn a medal, it does not give you much monkey money for beating that map anymore. $15 is worthless for 5-10 minutes of our time. That's nothing. But if we play an easy map on skates for 5 minutes of our time, earning $75 on an easy map that we can easily own is great. And then moving up into medium 125 and hard up to 200, that's not a bad amount of monkey money. Considering that we can multiply that out by quite a bit of uh, maps over here, quite a bit of game modes, and, you know, this is about $1,500 in monkey money just right here, let alone on medium and on easy. We can easily b bank over $2,000 of monkey money on a single easy map. But what's interesting about that is that as you go up in difficulties, you gain more monkey money. So what I would recommend doing is, if at all possible, at the very least, beat hard on maps. The hardest map that you can beat, beat hard on it, and try to get it going, because if you notice, you're going to make a big chunk of money. We're going from making $200 just to a slightly more difficult map, making $400 for every single one we get. That means if we beat every single medal in, the, in the, that map, we're making about 4000 or almost 5000 monkey money! And of course, it gets even better. As you go to the interme the advanced and the expert, it levels up even further. So you're now, by the time you get to these uh, 
expert maps, you're making four times as much monkey money as you would be by playing the game regularly on an easy difficulty. That's just absolutely insane. So I would highly recommend, if you have not earned some of these medals, at the very least, before you start spamming out the, the most difficult maps in the entire game where you keep losing and losing and losing, what you need to do is you need to start off on wherever you can play, wherever your skill set allows you to play at, and just start earning some monkey money. That's the way you want to do it. Now there's one super, super special trick before we get too deep into this. There's one way that we can earn monkey money even faster. Actually, there's almost two ways that we can earn monkey money even faster. There's a super, super, super crazy way, and I, I, it's hard for me to actually want to do this, but this is a way that we can if we want to. If you have rich parents, and you wanted to, you could get 50,000 monkey money for only 50 real dollars, and like, that's, who cares about real dollars if we're gonna have monkey money? I mean, come on! Of course, I mean, this is mostly just for people with rich parents, or if you're not even terrible with monkey money, but terrible with real life money too. I mean, that, that's an option. But that's not what we want to do. Instead, we want to make sure we're doing it the most efficient way possible. So, make sure you're head on over to the monkey knowledge section. In the monkey knowledge section, one of the first upgrades that you should be buying is in the magic section. What you need to do is you need to get the guided magic, the all alchemist potions have a 5% reload time, and the mo monkey money. That's all you gotta do. Three different monkey knowledge points. That means if you're at uh, level, I think, 33 or 35, you should have three monkey knowledge points by that point easily, and you can easily get this going. And what this is going to allow you to do is earn 10% extra monkey money from any game on any difficulty. Now, this is where things start to change in your favor a lot. You might be thinking that this is going to somehow be difficult to get or you're like wasting your monkey knowledge absolutely not uh we don't have to spend any monkey money to get this going you know we, we haven't even reached the 250 500 thousand dollar threshold to start paying monkey money for these upgrades yet so this is just a free upgrade that we can buy to earn 10 percent extra monkey money for the rest of the game seriously it might not seem like much 10 percent might not be a huge buff here but it's a big difference in the long run we're talking about thousands upon thousands of monkey monies I know, it's, it's kind of weird to say monkey money's over here. So to finish you guys off here, I want to teach you guys a really, really quick, somewhat easy strategy to pull off on almost any map, including Magic Monkeys only, because I think it's important for us to kind of get going in here. This is the, the only game mode that this probably wouldn't work on very easily is going to be half cash mode, but in that scenario, I'll tell you guys, I think you should use Insta Monkeys. All right, if you're at all just want to get some extra monkey money going, this is the best way to do it by far. They're pretty easy to come by in most situations, and they do a lot of awesomeness. Anyways, quick strategy here. What you want to do is you want to get an alchemist. Uh, excuse me. You want to get your hero going. I think Pat's probably going to be your best hero, or Quincy, or whoever. Just pop a hero down, let him go to work. Get a ninja going up to 402. Make sure you alchemize that ninja up to a stronger stimulant with perishing potions. And then what you want to do is you want to get your wizard up to top path fourth tier. This combo right here will get you pretty, pretty much through the entire game. All the way up to round 80, it will pretty much dominate everything. The only couple of difficult rounds are going to be 63, 76, and 78. And in that scenario, all we need to do is pop a little bit more uh, balloon popping power down, and we're golden. So like I was saying, there's no magical way to earn monkey money. It's about playing the game, and I think that means that Ninja Kiwi designed the game right. If we could just magically clutch steel monkey money out of the jaws of Ninja Kiwi, then the game wouldn't be designed properly. Having to actually earn your monkey money is part of the fun of the game, and I think that's what we should be doing. We should be playing the game, having fun with it, playing different maps and playing different difficulties instead of trying to do the exact same thing over and over again. And that's how we're going to earn a ton of monkey money and be happy with these six players. Of course, by earning monkey money, uh, by playing these maps, you're also earning achievements, and you're also just getting random other insta monkeys that can help you out getting more medals in the long run. So playing maps is by far the best and easiest way to get better at Bloomstar Defense 6, and it's the number one thing that I recommend. Going to the challenge browser, even though it's fun for a lot of good players, it's probably not that fun for a lot of not-so-good or beginner players, which is probably the better way to put it. So all I decided to do is get my fourth tier ninja up to 402. 
I decided to go for an Arc Mage up to 402. It is important to get that 402 for these camo leads on round 59. And then what you can decide is if you want, you can either go for an Arc Mage for 34,560 bucks, you clean up and you win the game, or what I think is actually the better play because it's a better long-term play is to go for a Sun Avatar. So we're going to go for a Sun Avatar up to Knockback and Ultra Vision over here. And that's going to clean everything up on pretty much every single map. It would be very difficult for you to lose using this strategy. Even on Unpoppable, this is a great way to start off your game. But on Chimps, I wouldn't say that this is the best strategy. I would say that it works. But you should start incorporating more military towers into your, uh, into your arsenal and put a Sun Avatar. He's not great super duper late game. But up until round 80, he's literally beautiful. So the last thing I want to mention before I let you guys go is that monkey money can be earned a smidge faster if time is really a constraint here by popping the balloons faster. Speed running Bloom Star Defense 6 is sometimes talked about, and you can kind of speed run this game by making sure you've got it on speed mode nonstop. Make sure you've got auto start on, so every round is going to come out instantaneously after the next one, and. Make sure you're popping the balloons as quickly to the uh, to the front as you possibly can. Going hardcore and popping super monkeys up here is probably not a good idea, but popping them in a pretty decent spot somewhere in the middle, even somewhere in the map where they can see right when the balloons come out is literally your best bet ever. And you can tell with this strategy, we absolutely dominated with $30,000 left over, and we've got no problems at all here. Look at this. Even the zone, my god, gets dominated here before they even make it around this full circle. So if you guys enjoyed with our 220 monkey money, press that like button for me, subscribe, and have a super duper delicious day.